Hey, hello, this is Penn Ward. This is Rebecca Sugar. And you're Steino. And Tom Herpick. And this is the last episode of the season four DVD commentaries. We're going to pull ourselves together and make it count. Yeah. It's one last this is, chance here. <laughs> this is the dregs of the commentary. This we, is what's left over after guess, everyone <laughs> took off on a Friday to go live their lives. Uh, but not this one. This one's going to be one oh, the last lich. hurrah. The Lich. So this good. was mine and Skylar's last board uh, together. And this is my part here. It's a cool dream sequence. So what that, good. that uh, uh, tapestry. That is the unicorn in captivity... Something, something, something. I forget. Uh, it's supposed to foreshadow some things. <laughs> I guess the uh, my the idea. I won't talk about it too much. But the idea is that the the lich is the unicorn because he has one horn. Uh, one of them is broken off. The rest you can you can uh, think about for yourselves. That's cool. That's awesome. Didn't you have to do something to do that? No. What? <laughs> that, uh, that crazy stand-up pan. Another nightmare? Yeah, that dang snail again, man. Mucking it up again. But there were other guys this time, too. The bear was there, and some dogs, and Billy's lady, and Billy. And Billy was real scared something fierce, man. Something real fierce. And the cosmic owl was there, too. Kinda. Screeching it up. Whoa, the cosmic owl? Backwards walking dogs. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh, even just the like sh shots and the, the placement of stuff. Whoa. I dreamed I was in kindergarten again, but I had really winding down. Uh, <laughs> don't talk about the winding down. I'm sorry. I got the only thing on my mind. Um, I really like it when everything's like one color palette, like when Finn was blue. <laughs> that was a really super cartoony <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This so, Jake car, which is really funny. You gotta throw in a little dash of the of the silly. Yeah, it was supposed to be the fart car. I don't know if that's is that still. It might still be farting. Some Skylar teeth. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. 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 This Skylar was really young when he started, and uh, he was you know learning. And then uh. we we did this episode, and I was like, man, you know what? This is awesome. This guy. This guy's the real deal. And then that was our last board together. <laughs> we got, the team got broken up. I love that when Finn was putting his hands on his hips, he was exchanging hands on his hips. Hmm. Those details, man, mm -hmm. makes it all worth it. Makes it um, super real feeling, which makes it funnier. I said that earlier. It's also Cheap. nice how Billy's size can change so drastically, <laughs> but no, but but it doesn't really matter. Like he doesn't doesn't, doesn't even read as like being uh, inconsistent somehow. That's right. Cool. Why do we have to snatch him? That's like the good kind of cartoony. What? No time. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Oh, yeah. How y'all doing? Pretty good. <laughs> I, I'm just watching. I love this episode. Yeah, it's fun to just watch. Yeah. That little poo of hair on Ice King's head when you take off his crown. I'm being pretty grossed out by how they take out LSP's thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Oh, the dog, food, dog food sound. Oh, yeah. We put in there. Even even at the pitch. Yeah. This is disturbing also. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the slime no. comes out. Oh, why is yeah, stuff coming out? <laughs> Mm. Don't do it. Mm. It's a trick. Are you sure that's a gem? Yeah, that. Here it comes. Yeah, this. Ooh. Dog oh, food. No. Like slurping out a can of dog food. No. Oh, shaking it around. That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so gross. Uh, no. <laughs> At least nothing drips off of that. That's true. Yeah. This little sack kind of freaked me out too. <laughs> the time. A lot of visceral f forehead skin in this particular montage. This <laughs> is where we find out, or we almost found out about Finn's dad. This was like the first stab where we were going to find out some info about Finn's dad, but it got kind of cut out at the last minute. And then... was, yeah, we, we trimmed it out because it was too much information in a short amount of time and it was too discombobulating, I think. I remember um, there was a thing where where Finn was sort of like, wait, I'm, 
I'm adopted and he he didn't know and I was like wait what he doesn't he didn't put that together he didn't know we made a joke out of it because uh, Jake Finn didn't realize it and Jake was like pointing at his face and pointing at his jowls and then he and then pointed at Finn's face and Finn didn't have jowls and Finn was like what you know he slowly <laughs> slowly made the connection that he wasn't a dog with jowls did um, do you feel like he did, he really didn't know I assumed that he knew and through the whole sh well yeah he didn't know he didn't know um then but then the, sh the show evolved and we came up with a cooler way to sort of reveal information uh well, what's interesting is that if this had worked the way i don't know his dad was going to be like a hero in this <laughs> version and then he turned into like a, a bozo in the in the when it actually happened something changed in the in interim there <laughs> What could have been? There's Booko. I did the voice of Booko. I'm Booko. <laughs> That's my pen impression. <laughs> I, like that. I thought that was really cool. And this guy was repeating. Effect. Zoom in. Booko is like a keeper. Is that his name? Yeah, he's related yeah. to, keep, and, uh, to the, the door lord. keeper tribe. And the door lord. Cuber was supposed to be like them too, but he didn't get colored the same color. Mm. Well, he's a few. He, He's, he's I just let similar it go. I, gotta, I let it go. You yeah. gotta, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta let it go. All this stuff's so cool. Yeah, there was a lot of talk about Finn's dad. It was what this whole sequence was Finn's about. dad here, yeah. And we just had to keep it short because it was too, it was too much information in a short amount of time and it was just, it just threw everyone. I think when you were watching it, it didn't reveal as much as you wanted it to. So it was just sort of hurting it. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. There's like a lot of information, but none of it really matters. So that's okay because you don't have to really. If you didn't catch it, it, doesn't matter. But if there's actual pertinent information in that whole big stew, and that that's bad. I like this scene a lot. Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably good. did a good job with all this stuff. I like that the creatures are still happy that they're being cut up. Yeah, that's like the perfect metaphor well not metaphor but it's i feel like she all that's just what she does all the time it's like you finally just sort of see it a microcosm yeah. of it and it's like yeah this is so it's like bubblegum 101 the thin body language here is so nice how he kind of like flops onto her and, and then it's like flailing his arms around yeah <laughs> it's nice comes. nicely acted Good job, Skylar. Yep. Fairly well. <laughs> That's rad. In your Clarence adventure. Don't do it. Oh, there's some love good she transformation here, Dom. Uh, Is that you? Nope. No, that's Skylar? Yep. Good transformation, Skylar. But, Tom, you originally designed that book. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, every time I see it, I remember back in, back in the day. There's a Andy. That's my pretzel gate. Love pretzel that gate. gate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, I remember you did a few different versions of the gate, mm -hmm. the pretzel gate. Yeah. And that was the coolest. Yeah, well, that was the one I wanted, and then I did the one that was in the board. Oh, yeah. Just in case. Thanks, man, for the extra effort. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the fun stuff. Give me the book. <gasps> Quickly, child. We're running out of time. Yeah, this stuff, Tom, blew my mind when you pitched it. Oh, yeah? Ah. <laughs> cool. I was proud of this shot where he walks over the camera. It's me like pushing the boundaries of my, my skill uh, skill set. Yeah, it's so good. And when he smashes it, uh, and all these half. Oh, I like this too. This one I even went to the trouble of uh, doing the design myself because uh, cause I I wanted the <laughs> I wanted to make the cool drawing. Yeah. I want to make yeah. the cool drawing. <laughs> This, it was actually, I think when I boarded it first, it was supposed to be like a, the same, he only smashed it once, but you saw it over from different angles, but then they turned it into him hitting it over and over, which I like better. Oh no, Noodling. That's what my job comes down to sometimes. Oh, fiddling around with <laughs> stuff. Does Nick do all these cool effects? Nick, Nick did this one, yeah. yeah. 
Nick Jennings. What art, was art director on Adventure Time. Tom, where do you get your love of interesting floating rocks? Because hmm. you always do them so good. And I got mine from you, so I need to know where you <laughs> got it from. That's a good question. I, it's probably an answer, but I'd have to think about it. I don't know. Oh, you're stoked on this idea, Tom. What, them getting pulled in like this? Yeah, pulled in and then Jake slowly dragging. Uh, and then we're about to see... This is... So Adam put in that joke way back in the day with the that little fantasy shot with where Finn had the robot arm. And then I got... I wanted to put it in... I think it was, <laughs> I don't know who to credit. I think it was my idea to, to be like, oh, I want Finn in the future to always have this robot arm. So I put it in here, and then I put it in Puhoi, and put it in Dungeon Train. And Jesse put it in the past, in the past life, in the Shoko one. And it all just kind of like uh, accumulated and then became a, that storyline of the losing the arm. It all is like a nice organic thing where you don't have to think too far ahead as long as you're like conscious of the details at all moments. <laughs> you can write it in, in real time and not have it feel like you wrote it in real time. That's the secret. Everybody, if you watched all the way to the end, then you get to find out this, the secret. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. <laughs>